Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you a Python and MySQL connectivity project. It is made by Ishika Gupta at Pongito. So let's start our project. Now it is by program. Here the first line is from pretty table import pretty table. Now basically the program is based on electronic shop management system. Now if you go to the shop and want to see what other items are present in the shop or what are the details of the item and you this project is basically de depend on that. Now the first line is from pretty table import pretty table. Here pretty table is a python library that is used to represent the data in the tab table format. Now suppose if the data is present in the tuple format and list format and you want it into table format that you have to use pretty table library. Now the next line is import MySQL connector. Hi, here I am importing MySQL connector module. Now the next line is con equals to MySQL connector dot connect. Here con is a variable name and I am connecting the Python and MySQL connector. Here I give four parameters, host, user, name, password and database. Here my host of MySQL is localhost user name is root password is equal to three by database equal to cs here the, to give the to give the parameter database equal to cs you have to create a database already in your bias now the next line is cur equals to cur dot cursor here cur is a variable name and cursor is a function which is used to retrieve the record as per the query i'm going to give it in this program now here i'm going to show you the main program It is a main program. Here I take a variable in f and store 0 in it. I give a condition if f equal equal 0 then the condition will always true and I am printing JKT Corvette School project topic electronic shop management system submitted by Ishika Gupta Saudaraya Gupta submitted to respective accuser. Now here is the logo of the program value of a shop and now I am going to execute this f file. Now, as you can see here, here is the format of our program. Now, the next line is while true. Here, I am using while loop and I give condition true, which is all just true. Now, the next line is print press 1 for show the item. Now, if I want to show the items which are present in the shop, I have to press 1. I take a variable in ch in which I input enter your choice. Now, if ch equal equal 1, then what will happen then the function name item will call here here is the function here item is the function name which i am calling right now i it is a function item here the first command is print item present in the show now the i take a variable sql in which i give the sql query select sql for item here item is the table name which i already created in my bias here the next slide is I use curl.execute as well. Here, execute function is used to get the record from that table. Here, the record which is presented in the item table will be executed by the execute function or get the execute function. Here, I take a next slide is here. I take a variable name res in which I use fetchal function. Fetchal function is used to show the data which I present in the table there is also there is also a word function name called fetch one which show only one record for the table now the text line is t equals to pretty table serial number product now when i'm using fetch one function it always gives the, the result in the table format sorry tuple format now convert the tuple format in the table format i'm using pretty table library here I give the parameter serial number products for I I'm using for loop serial number products are in RES. I am using T add row serial number and number of product add row is used to adding row in the table and print it. Now the next line is I take a variable lib ARS in which I enter I store while I use while loop and Give a condition an is equal equal y. Now the first command is print press one for present. Now if I want to see the details of 
print i have to press work i take a variable ch in which i input enter a choice now if ch equal equal one then what will happen then first the print command will now I am using the SQL query again as you seen before select SQL from fetch company curl dot execute f and I am using the factor function as a pretty table format now if I want to see the details of full order I have to press 2 now if I want to see the details of print washi washi company I have to press 3 now I have, if I want to see the details of 4 which is iron I have to press 4 now I have I want to see the details of Haita that I have to press 5. This and the last line is ALS equals to I take the variable ALS in which I input what to show other data if yes then press Y and if no then press X. I am executing the program right now. As you see here press 1 for show the item. I am pressing 1 Items which are present in my shops are here. As you see here, now press 1 for fridge detail, press 2 for cooler detail, press 3 for washing machine detail, press 4 for iron detail, press 5 for heater detail. Now, if I want to see the details of fridge, I press 1. And here are the details of fridge. Now, if I want to see other item detail, I have to press what? Y. Here. The while loop will work here. Press 1 for fridge detail, 2 for cooler detail, 3 for washing machine. I want to see the details of heater. Then I press 5. Here are the details of heater. Then want to show other item details? No. I press N. And the loop in the main program will execute here. Press 1 for show the item and uh, no. Now our first command is completed. Now the second command is press 2 for buy the product. Now if I want to buy the product, I have to press 2 and I give a condition LXCH equal equal to then what will happen and the buy item function will call here. Here is the buy item function. I take a variable ARS in which I store Y. I started while loop. The condition is ALS equal equal Y. Then I take a L, I take a variable name L in which I store F to loop. I take a variable name item in which I put enter the item you want to buy. Now I am appending the item in the list. I give a condition if item equal fridge. Then what will happen? Then the details of the item will shown here as you seen this code earlier. Now the next line is print press 1 for entering the company name. Now to enter the company name, I have to press 1 and I give condition, I take a variable if ch is, in which I input enter your choice. I give condition if ch equal equal 1, then what will happen? I take a variable cop in which I put enter the company name. I take a variable name l in which I store cop. Here, I take a uh, variable name sql in which I am using the sql command. Select a stick from fridge company. Fridge company is mainly at the table which I made earlier in my pro in the MySQL and name equals to uh, percentage as here percentage is reflected by which is whatever thing is stored in L. Now I am using the execute function and then fetch all. I started a loop for A in it and print it. I take a variable name I in which I store A. Then I am using MySQL as a variable name and using the MySQL query insert into products value insert into product company pro warranty volume and values then I am executing the L MySQL LA and I am using the commit function here commit function is used to modify the data in the table now I have to insert or delete the data it which means I have to modify the data then I use the commit now the next line is print thank you for buying the page now the same condition for buy to buy Cooler. Uh, the same condition the is for by the coolers. There is the same code as you see here. And this again, the, if you want to see, uh, if you want to buy washing machine, then this will happen again. And iron, want to buy iron, then this is the coding again. And want to buy fridge, the same coding is here. Now, the, the, now here I use else. 
in which I print sorry this item is not present in the shop now I, except I press, press T V then what will happen sorry this item is present in the shop right now so now I take a variable name AS in which I input want to buy another item if yes then press Y if no then press N I'm running to F5 Press 2 for buy the product. Press Enter the item you want to buy. I want to buy fridge. So, sorry, this is a spelling mistake. So, let's suppose I want to buy heat. Here are the heater details. Pusha, Bajaj, Ketha, Starway, Havels. Enter press 1 for item to choice. Press 1. Enter the company name. Havels. Now Havels is going to say want to buy another product? No. Now the while loop in paid program will execute here. Now second command is also completed. Now our third command is press 3 for delete the item. Now if you buy a product and you don't want it right now then you have to delete it. Now I give a condition C L is C H equal equal 3 then the delete item function will call here. Here is the delete item function. Print item that required a custom style SG from product. I am using the save command here to show the records of the product table. Product is a table which I have already made it by bicycle. Here A is equal to this. Now I take a variable in ANS in which I store Y while ANS is equal to equal to Y. Then what will happen? I give a I take a variable ch in which I input enter the item you want to delete. Then I take a variable in de in which I store ch. I give the I take a variable name sql in which I give the query delete products delete from products where company name is percentage s. Now I am executing the sql and de and commit the query. Now I am printing products which are present after deletion then i am using same same coding here to show the product to show the record which are presented by table so i am executing it f press f5 press 3 for delete the item press 3 here that the item which I buy, like suppose I want to delete Usha. Then the Usha company are deleted here. Now, what to delete other item? Yes, so I am using it now. Product which I present after deletion, have it. What to delete other products? Then, now, now our third cupboard is also completed. Our fourth cupboard is basically. Press 4 for show the item that you buy. Now, to show the item that you buy, you have to press 4 at the function. I give a condition LFCH equal, equal 4, then the function Y will call. Now, I'm here, def buy, print t, the item that you buy. Then, the save command as you see before, A causes like SG for prayer, and executing and fetching all the records of the table now i'm execute this press 4 for show the item press 4 here are the item that i buy okay now our fourth cupboard is also completed here my fifth cupboard is press 5 for printing the book Now, if I want to print the bill, then I have to press 5 and the function bill will call here. Here is the function bill. Print product that are product buy from the shop. Then what will happen? As you see this cupboards earlier. Save cupboards here to show the records of the table. Now, the next line is total amount you have to pay.
I bit this, then I take a variable if in which I give the y square query, select sub price as total sub total. Now I am executing m and fetch here. I use fetch one program which will show only one records from the table. Now I'm using the pretty table format and I'm now suppose after buying the after buying the products from the shop you have to give the review. So print please give your reviews first press one for excellent press two for border press three for good or good. I take a variable name A in which I put enter it. I give a condition if a equal equal 1 then what will happen print thank you so much if a equal equal 2 then print thank you so much we will try our thank you we will try our best and if a equal equal 3 print sorry for inconvenience we will try our best and print hope you came again for shopping now I am executing this f -hub. print press 5 for printing the bill 5 Products that I buy from the shop, I buy Havels. Then total amount you have to pay 4000. Now give your review. Now I will be not good. So what will print here? Sorry for inconvenience. We will try our best. Hope you came again for shop. Now this is my whole program. There is a last, last command which I use is break function. Break function is used to stop the loop. While loop? Because I give the condition true here. Now to break the loop, I use break. So thank you so much for seeing the video. Make sure you subscribe the channel and like the video. Thank you.